Hi friends, today is March 8th and I decided to start a reading vlog. So for my reading plans for this vlog, I am currently reading The Sun and Its Shade by Piper CJ and I'm almost done with it. I have just a little bit more than a hundred pages. So I'm going to start this vlog by finishing this book and let me just say I am really, really, really enjoying this story. So this is the sequel to The Night and Its Moon by Piper CJ. It literally just came out last week. I had it pre-ordered to get delivered to me the day it was published, the publication date. So I started it uh, immediately and I have just been totally, totally loving it so much. Everything that I had like issues with in the first one is no more in this one. The editing is 10 times better. It's not as repetitive. The writing is much more consistent. And what I really love is that it is so well balanced with exploring not only Amaris, but Nox. And I feel like we have gained so much more knowledge and understanding about Nox. And I just, I've been really liking it. I love Nox. Hopefully I can finish it tonight, but I'm not gonna like push myself if I don't feel like it. But I am in such a reading mood right now, so I won't be surprised if I finish this tonight. So then moving on from that book, my next book that I'm thinking I'm probably going to start when I finish, and that is Loot by Jennifer Thorne. I have been so intrigued by this book ever since it came out. It came out last year at some point, and I had seen so many people talk about it coming out and talk about wanting to read it, and I have not heard a single person who has actually read it and has shared their thoughts about it. I have just heard radio silence ever since everybody said that they wanted to read it. So I'm really, really drawn towards this. It really gives Midsommar vibes. I don't know if that's what it's going to be like, but that is the vibes it gives off. I really don't know what to expect with this one at all, so I'm really excited to get into it. I actually did think it was young adult. For, like, the cover just looks young adult to me, and that's not shade. Like, I love this cover. I think it's so pretty. I love all the, like, the monochromatic style of all the purple hues. I really love the cover, but it did give me YA vibes, but it is an adult novel. It does say Loot is uh, the author's adult debut. So it is adult, so we'll see. Um, and yeah, that's it for reading plans right now. Um, I have some packages here that I thought I would open with you guys because I love watching people open packages. So I'm gonna open these packages. So I have another order from Book Babe Designs on Instagram. I'll link her Instagram down below. I love her stuff. I've gotten bookmarks from her. I've gotten stickers from her. Where's my knife? Oh, here it is. I've gotten stickers from her. Um, and I've gotten a lot of mugs from her. So I got more from her. And I got from one of her mo more recent drops. Oh my God, I forgot we get a sticker with this order. Oh, this one is so cute. So when you did the bag order, you got another sticker. How cute is this little fairy ghost? Oh my God, that is so cute. Oh, don't mind my nails. Oh my God, they look horrible right now. I'm gonna put it right here with my other ghost stickers. I have it right on my shelf over there. And then um, she also included like a little print. It's a cardboard print, which is really cute. I'm gonna put this on my shelf too. <laughs> And then what I got from her bag, uh, it was like bags and beanies, but I just got a bag and I got a tote that says slow burn. And yeah, just like a classic tote. Uh, slow burn is like my favorite type of like romance. I love tension and I love slow burn. So I decided to get it. I thought it was really cute. Um, and I can never have enough tote bags. So there you go. There's that package. I love it. It's super cute. This package is not bookish. <laughs> it's kind of random. So I've been on the market for new leggings. I have been wearing the same pair of Gymshark leggings for no less than six years, maybe more. Um, and I <laughs> and they have a hole in the side of them and they have had the hole in the side of them for no less than four years. So I really needed to get some new leggings. 
And I was getting a ton of ads for a company called Halara, which turns out it is actually a company um, in China, which is fine, but I just didn't realize that. So it took a lot longer to get to me than I thought it would. So I got some leggings. I just got some black leggings and it like crosses in the front so it's supposed to kind of slim your waist and give you like, I don't know, make you look good somehow. Um, the material is very, very athletic. I was hoping it would be on the softer side, like more, I guess I could have looked at, <laughs> at the fabric because it is 77% nylon. Um, and then also like elastane, but I did hope <laughs> that it was going to be on, more on like the soft buttery cotton side, but that's okay. That's, that's totally on me. So I got those. And then since I was on there, I always feel like I have to justify paying shipping or getting free shipping by buying multiple items. Like it's really difficult for me to just buy one item when I'm shopping online. I don't know why. I know I do it with BookBake, but that's because she always has limited things that she puts out. Um, but I just, I don't know. I always feel like I have to buy multiple things to make it worth it. I don't know. But then I got a little score and I'm so excited about this one. It has the same like cross cross thingy where these like cross each other so it's supposed to kind of like slim your waist and it's got shorts underneath oh and pockets oh cool ah I love it so I got them in green and this is also this is like the same material it's very athletic which I expected for the skirt, which I wanted as well love that I am going to Italy in the summer so I thought that that would be a very good thing to have to travel in nice and comfy and then I got a tank top with like a built-in sports bra um apparently in gray I don't know what color I thought I was getting but I knew it was like with gray but I thought it'd be a little bit different of a gray but that's okay you know what I think I thought maybe I was getting cream I don't know but I'll still wear it nonetheless and yeah I don't know if anybody cared about that at all but I get so excited when I get packages. So there's that. So now I'm going to actually start reading and I am going to continue on with my journey with the sun and its shade. So I'll talk to you guys once I finish that. So it is the next day it is Thursday March 9th and I did finish the sun and its shade last night I was just so tired that I went immediately to bed but I totally loved this book so much I gave it five stars I just really really had a great time it was never boring for me it was always kind of there was all these little adventures that were going on and I loved every single plot point I loved all of the characters. We got so much good like character development throughout it. And like I said before, all the problems that I had with the first book were just like not at all present in this book. So that was great. The editing was so much better. The exploration of the characters was so much more well balanced. It was pretty 50-50 between Knox and like Amaris's sides of their journeys. So we got so much more of Knox and I loved it. I love Knox. We ended up getting some spice 
in the book as well, which was a nice surprise. And I just really had a great time. It's fun. It's an easy read. I enjoy the writing and yeah. I'm super excited for the third book. I looked it up and I think that it is coming out July 20th. So that's like four months away. So it's, the third book is going to be here pretty soon. So I'm excited to finish. I think that the third book is going to be the last book. And I did end up starting some of Loot. So I am on page 57. Not, too, not super far in, but it is a pretty short book. So it shouldn't take me too long to read this. But the premise of this is there is this island. What is it called? Well, it's called Loot. <laughs> the island is called Loot. And there's kind of this mysterious aspect to this island. So it says, every seventh summer, seven people die. No more, no less. There's reference to the day. And the day is approaching. And our main character, Nina, is not a local to this island. She actually married somebody local to the island and ended up moving to the island a few years ago. And it is now the seventh summer. So the day is approaching and she doesn't really know what that means. And it's right now, we don't really know what that means. It seems like it's gonna get brutal somehow, but yeah, it says, the day begins and it's a day of nightmares, of grief, of reckoning, but it's also a day of community, of survival and strength, of love at its most pure and untamed. When the day ends, Nina and Lute will never be the same. So it's kind of building up to this kind of like ritualistic-esque day. Um, and yeah, there's just a lot of mystery around it. So it's set up where the first chapter is three days before the day, and then two days before the day, then one day before the day, and then the day. And then I think after that, it's kind of split up into times. So it's literally surrounding four days. I mean, so far it's pretty interesting. There's definitely some weird things around the island and people are acting weird. Nina and her family were actually trying to leave the island to go on holiday, but it seemed like the island didn't want to let them leave. So they're actually stuck on the island and will have to participate in the day whatever that means. I am going to read some more tonight. I probably won't read too much more tonight. I have to do some stuff around the house and I wanna take a bath and relax and eat dinner. But I will update you guys when I'm like, ha probably halfway through this book is when you'll see my next reading update. So I'll talk to you guys then. I just filmed my spring TBR, so my desk is an absolute mess. Um, ignore these books. These books just hold up my camera. <laughs> so, but yeah, I should have my March TBR out and these are all the books I'm hoping to get to. Hi friends. So I am actually 
very close to finishing loot. So I know I said I would update you when I was halfway through, but I'm a little bit more than halfway through. I'm on page 212 and I have about 50 pages. No, I have about 60 pages left. So I should finish this today. So my thoughts so far, it's good. It's very atmospheric. The whole time you really don't know what's going on. They're just talking about the day and then it gets to the day. You kind of figure out what the day is all about. And yeah, I can't say like too much because the whole lore of this book is that you don't know what's going on. I don't know, it's kind of hard right now. It really kind of depends on how this ends, whether or not I feel good about this book or not. There is a little bit more character work and we start to get hints that our main character character Nina may have done some not so great things in her past. There is an aspect of her being haunted by that and carrying around a lot of guilt but we don't really know what what that was about. We know it has to do with her family. It's hinted a lot that she probably had a toxic relationship with her mother and her gran was the only person that she felt connected to but she had since died so it ties in this whole her now living on this island as her being very much kind of a person that runs away and tries to isolate themselves so i feel like there's a lot of metaphors going on and yeah that's kind of like all i can say is really kind of like what else is explored on surface level. Can't like say too much about like what the day entails because that's kind of the whole point of reading this book is to figure that out. But yeah, people are dying and it does explore this whole, what we do with our guilt with death and the people that are left behind. And yeah, I don't know. I don't really know what else to say. I really just have to finish it and see how I feel at the end. It's just, it's been fine. Um, there are some really beautiful moments, some really nice writing, but uh, I don't know. I just don't feel like, I'm not like crazy about it, but I don't think it's bad either. So I'm very middle of the road right now, but I'm going to jump back into it. I should, I should finish it today, but we'll see. There's some other stuff I want to do with my day. I have been listening to my ambiance with it that I feel like is really good with it um and that is song of sirens or something like that if you guys go into my channel you should be able to see my playlist and I have an ambiance playlist that should be public and those are most of the videos that I listen to for my ambiance while I'm reading I like to get as immersed as possible while I'm reading so I'm reading this alongside with listening to the song of sirens ambiance and it's it goes really well because we're on this island surrounded by water and it, it I like that the fact that this is so purple based and actually the video itself is very purple so like just all around I feel like it matches the vibes <laughs> so We'll see how we feel in a little bit. finished loot by Jennifer Thorne and I did enjoy it I thought it was good I thought that there was some really pretty writing throughout it and while it's focused on kind of this aspect of the day and what goes on with that wherein it does say um, every seventh summer seven people die no more no less which is true so the day kind of in involves that but it much more so is also linked to her narrator and her kind of coming to terms with a lot of guilt and grief she's holding on to a lot of personal issues she's holding on to we get we get a feel for them but it really doesn't go like that deep to be honest it's kind of just a generalization of like what people do with their grief how people react and a lot of other things too. Um, I don't know. Some of it felt a little surface level uh, and some of it was very vague. 
and I don't know. <laughs> it's kind of hard to like explain. It was, but it was okay. It was good. I enjoyed it while I was reading it. I do like the way it wrapped up. Um, but like also at the same time, I wasn't, I wasn't like fully invested and I don't know why. I don't know what was missing for me, but I think just some of the stuff with the character was just too vague. We kind of get hints that she had a not so great relationship with her family and we get a little bit of that, but I don't know. I just not like go that deep. I don't know, it's hard to explain, but I did enjoy it. I'm giving it a 3 out of 5. I do still recommend it if it sounds like something you're into. It is very atmospheric. Like I said, some of the writing is very pretty, and I do enjoy kind of the eerie vibes it has throughout the whole thing. There's a lot of kind of confusion. It gets into territory of community as well, which I thought was interesting. But yeah, so this one is done. And then going from that, I'm kind of just in the mood for some fluff. I kind of just want to read a story that doesn't take much thought and it's just going to be fun and kind of like a palette cleanser type story. So for that, I'm going to start Ice Planet Barbarians by Ruby Dixon. This is pretty much just a smutty romance that has to do with like a human and a blue alien. And I think this is like a whole kind of like series but I have no idea how many books are in the series and I think that it's one of those kind of worlds where each book focuses on different characters. I think, I don't know, don't quote me on that, but I'm going to start this today because I do, I just kind of feel like doing easy smutty fluff right now. I'll probably read this in tandem with another book just because I'm not always in the mood every day for smutty romance. So I'll probably also read this alongside another book. I don't know what book yet but none of that's going to be in this vlog. I just want to let you guys know that this is what I'm starting, so you can expect to see that in the March wrap-up. So that is going to be the end of this vlog. Thank you so much for watching. I truly appreciate you spending some of your time with me. If you made it to this point in the video, go ahead and leave me a snowflake emoji so that I know. If you enjoyed the video, give it a like and consider subscribing for future content. All the fun YouTube things that help your girl out, and I will catch you guys on the next video. Bye!